Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you a mindset thought that I've been having time and time again while I'm out riding, training, and that is the fundamental importance of having one key critical figure on your team, on your side, cheering for you, rooting for you, to be able to achieve things that you thought were not possible. And that one person is you. I say this because oftentimes what we are missing is self-belief, self-confidence, and oftentimes what happens is self-sabotage creeps in. So maybe we think we want to do something like incredible, a big goal, or achieve something really big. Something happens in the middle and we end up after a week or 10 days that we aren't really pursuing and taking action on this goal. This can be a big goal or a small goal, it can be anything, even just changing a tiny little habit. And what is missing in my experience is we don't have our full support of our own mind, of our own person. And this lets self-sabotage creep in. It can be minor or major self-sabotage, but it can very simply not allow us to achieve what we had in our mind to achieve. And this is because in reality, there is only one person you can count on 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. And that is yourself. Nobody will ever care about you as much as you can care about yourself. Nobody's coming to save you. This is, everybody says this nowadays, but that is the truth. Nobody really factually cares about you, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, more than you can. And if we figure out tools and tactics to always be on our team, always or in the vast majority of cases, be able to tap into positivity and take progressive, daily, positive action towards the direction that we want, I believe can be incredibly important to achieve whatever we want to do. To have a big impact in being able to tap into this endless energy that we have if we can tap into our own self-belief, I believe that changing our identity and becoming the type of person that we want to be is fundamentally important. We need to become the person that inspires us. Personally, this happened because I took a step back and I looked at myself from the, an outside perspective and I analyzed with radical honesty my positives, what I was good in, and my negatives. Then I identified what areas I wanted to focus on and work on. And then fundamentally important is I took action. And some of the most important tools that I found in order to increase self-belief and to have myself on my team with positive self-talk all the time is to do hard things, to push myself out of my comfort zone developing and strengthening my mind. And this can be done through doing hard, epic one-shot things like Ironmans, ultra runs, big events, ultra swims, and races. I believe doing these big goals is important because they are statements to ourselves. They will remain as testaments to ourselves of what we have achieved. But more importantly than that, who we have become in the process of achieving these goals through focus, determination, and hard work. Another critically important thing though is doing hard, small things consistently on a daily basis. That can be weightlifting, cold exposure, or even just trying new things. Every day, something, as small as it can be. Forward progress every day. Doing one push-up a day is better than doing zero push-ups a day. But especially, this creates consistency, and consistency really can increase self-belief. I can do this. We need to become our own best friend, our own coach and mentor. Developing a mind that has empathy and that is capable of radical self-love and acceptance in the good times and in the bad times. Self-talk creates our reality. It creates our thoughts and can turn any situation, even if it is the best situation in life, like we are on a beach in Thailand, self-talk and having negative self-talk can completely flip that situation into being something awful. And trust me, I've seen this, especially in regards with money. I've been in social circles where there were people with so much money, an insane amount of money, and they were absolutely destroyed by depression. I could see it in their eyes. Their eyes were completely shut off. They had no idea what they wanted to do. They would literally go around their day doing insane stuff like driving sports cars or having the best thing you could have ever, all the time. All the time it was always the best, the best shoes, the best lunch, the best dinner, but they were, their self-talk was off. This could be for a million different reasons, but maybe they had everything they ever always wanted in their life, so nothing really held value anymore, but I believe it, it was because maybe they couldn't really find a way to be on their side. Nothing had meaning in their lives. This is, this is the sentiment that I found. So if we can engage in positive self-talk, be our own best friend, talk to ourselves with love and respect, not bashing ourselves. Oftentimes we are our own worst critics. When we do something wrong, we ba at least I bash myself. I used to bash myself and I still do sometimes so crazily. Like 
if somebody else, if I, if like my best friend talked to me like I would bash myself, I would never talk to that person again. Like never. So self-talk is absolutely critical. It's fundamental. And having positive self-talk, being our own best friend, being our own mentor, I believe is really, really important to give us a boost in self-confidence. Another really important tool that I use is to keep mementos of my wins. Not every day will be great, but a strong mind and especially having physical testaments to hard things that we have endured. Personally, it gives me a really incredible boost in self-confidence. If I've done that, this thing that I'm enduring right now is nothing. If I've done this incredibly hard thing, doing this is easy. The vegan cyclist says, do hard things so hard things become easy. And that is so true. This really difficult moment I'm enduring right now is easy compared to what I've done. Self-belief. Context is everything. And framing hard moments, viewing them with the lens of all that we have already achieved. And remember, this can be huge goals, but it can really be small things every day. Every day pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. And that we have surpassed these things ensures, at least in my experience, that I don't view a situation, I don't live a situation as the person that I am in that moment. Because the person we are in a, any given moment can vary day to day and moment to moment, depending on a million different things. But what we have achieved, our wins, having self-belief in ourselves that led us on this path and we achieved great things, will live on in eternity. Even when we're dealing with pain, injuries, heartbreak, our achievement, even if we don't realize it, have changed us profoundly by means of all the training and hard work we had to do to achieve these things. In the process of reaching them, we became a different person. I personally have become a different person. Compared to five years ago, I can't even imagine what I was like five years ago. So as stupid as it might seem and banal, but having t-shirts from events, bracelets, photos and videos. Hell, I have this bracelet on from Ironman 70.3 Italy. It's been four years ago. And I keep it on because these memories impact my state of being in the present moment. Our state in the present moment is the only thing that exists. Life only happens now. If you follow me on Instagram, you see this time and time again. I post it periodically. Life only happens this very second. If we are thinking of the future of the past, we are not here. We're not really living. But the caveat to this is what we have achieved in the past has transformed us. So tapping in to the emotions that we felt in the past, to that self-belief, to having done these incredibly hard things, in the present moment impacts our state of mind. It can really be something that switches in our brain and completely transform the moment that we are living in the present moment. These things have helped me incredibly with self-belief, self-confidence, commitment, and having a strong mind. I would encourage you to take your own path. See what you really want to do, what you want to focus hard on, what makes you feel great, what makes you feel like this life is worth living every second of every day. Find those things that make it so that you don't want days to end, that you don't have enough time in a day to accomplish all that you want. And do those things, take action on it. Follow your intuition and take action on these things because these things can really transform you. And another thing I would like to say is do these things to the point that you don't need any other person to motivate you. Don't, you don't need any David Goggins. You don't need to reach out to other people. I mean, you can do it and it can be a positive influence in your life, but work so hard on the things that you want to achieve that you don't need a David Goggins because all you need to do is to open up your gallery on your phone and see the photos of you doing insane hard stuff and you have become your own number one inspiration. You have become your own mentor. You have become your most sustainable an infinite resource of inspiration, motivation, and drive because it is yourself. It's not an external thing. It's, it's you. It's something that you can control every single second of every single day. You have yourself on your team as your coach, mentor, best friend, helping you in hard situations and really enjoying and cherishing the good moments in your life, truly. So be on your own team. Be your number one fan be your number one inspiration. Tap into those things inside you because they are infinite. They are an infinite resource for you to accomplish anything you set your mind to in life. So doing a little summary, engage in positive self-talk. Always be on your side. When a difficult situation arises, talk yourself, engage in positive self-talk, which is empathic, positive, as if your best friend was talking to you. Second thing is do hard one-shot huge things. Big goals really help to transform 
faster and have a more radical transformation in our self-belief, self-confidence. Because they're just such huge wins that automatically they will transform our mindset. Do small things every day consistently. Every day something different, every day something that pushes you out of your comfort zone. Do hard things and hard things become easy. And lastly, become your own source of inspiration. If you can become your own source of inspiration, this will serve you tremendously to have an insane boost in self-confidence. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you find these tips useful. Have fun, work hard, keep pushing towards those goals, daily progress. As always, thanks for the continued support and I will see you in the next video.